All right, guys, today we're gonna to talk about air compressors for high pressure tires, ENF rated for your trailers and your trucks. And we're gonna review the Harbor Freight Fortress 175 PSI high pressure, compre uh, high pressure compressor. <laughs> high pressure compressor, say that a couple times. So let's take a look at it and uh, we'll talk about it being a good, good solution for those high pressure tires. <laughs> All right, guys, so like I said in the intro, what we're trying to address is uh, filling up these high pressure tires. Um, my tires are a little muddy and dirty from moving stuff around on my property, but um, these tires are, you see right there, these are E-rated, and being an E-rated tire, it runs at a higher PSI. Uh, in fact, these tires, uh, you can see right down here, they're rated for 80 PSI. So, um, you're going to find these on a lot of your big trucks. So I have a 2020 F250 and it comes stock with these tires. Um, and if you're going to be towing big loads, you're going to want to have tires like this. Uh, my toy hauler, which is down over there. So that's a um, Pacific Coachworks Ragin. It's a 27 FXB. And when it's fully loaded, um, that thing, you know, it's uh, about 10,000 pounds. So it's running a double axle and it has E-rated Goodyear Endurance tires on it. So one of the problems I had was to fill the tires. So two things, for me, my toy hauler is all the way down there, way down on the end of my property. Um, my air compressor, my home air compressor is right here, this guy. So this is a really old central pneumatic. You can kind of see the sticker in there. Um, this is an air compressor I bought from Harbor Freight and I bought this thing back in, move this jack out of the way. I bought this air compressor back in like, I wanna say 2005, roughly. So it's like 15 years old. And uh, knock on wood, it's been doing great. Um, the problem with it is it is a 100 PSI compressor. And even though it's got a really, really big tank, um, the problem you run into, when I go to fill these guys up, and I, only, I run them about 65 PSI most of the time, but when I go to tall my, uh, ho tall, uh, haul my toy hauler, um, I want to fill the back ones all the way up to 80 PSI. Part of the reason that is, is toy haulers in a lot of cases, since you're going to be pulling a pretty heavy load, they have a really high tongue rating. Um, and the tongue rating, I mean, we're talking like, it's pretty big. I can't remember the exact number on it, but it's, it's, it's like 1300 pounds or something like that. So when you put 1300 pounds, you have to have the proper tire pressure in the back to be able to maintain that. So when I go to pump these rear tires up using my traditional compressor, it, it doesn't work very well because what happens is, is it drops down pretty low. Um, even if I have the regular turned all the way down, which if you tighten the regular up as high as you can, it still drops down too low. And what I end up having to do to get these guys up to 80 PSI is I have to actually stick my finger in the little valve and on the air compressor, uh, I'll show you here. On this guy, I have to stick my finger in there and I have to purge some of the air out so I get it to kick back on to go back up to 100 PSI. And that takes a while. Um, it sucks. If the, With a 65 PSI tire, that compressor's fine. But when we're going to 80 PSI, it doesn't work very well. And then on top of that, trying to get air down to those tires all the way down there. Ideally, someday I'd like to have an onboard compressor, um, but I don't. So I was at Harbor Freight the other day trying to come up with a solution and I found this little guy. So. 175 PSI, so that is a good deal. The tank, oh man, I can't remember the tank size. I think it's like, it's like two or three, I think it's like two or three pounds, like two and a half pounds, or two and a half gallon. Um, but anyways, this little guy has worked awesome. Um, it's really quiet and it fills up pretty quickly. It gets all the way to 175 PSI in like, I think it was like three and a half or four minutes. It doesn't take very long um, and it's just humming away. And when I hook this guy up to my tires, uh, it is no problem. It gets them to 80 PSI super fast. And part of the reason is because again, it's 175 PSI. So it actually kicks on pretty early. Um, I think it kicks on once it gets down to like, I can't remember where it's at. I should have checked that. But I want to say if it's 
uh, under 150 PSI, it kicks on. So the good news is, is with an 80 PSI tire, you have no problem getting this thing to kick back on. You don't have to worry about cycling. It'll cycle on early enough that you don't have to purge air out of it. Now to, to complete the package for me at Harbor Freight, I picked up a nice airline. Um, I've used the little coil ones. It doesn't work well when you're running uh, really high PSI. So this nice rubber hose works good. I got my little end fittings. I got my little chuck and it's got two quick necks coming out of it. Um, the reason they did it is I think people were gonna run like multiple nail guns and things off of it. Um, but again, I'm not doing that. I'm just gonna use it for filling up the tires, but it's nice that it's got the two just in case. And if one ever failed, you got another. You got your adjustable regulator. I just leave the thing at wide open. Um, I don't worry too much about it. And then it's really lightweight. It, it, uh, actually, it's six gallon. I said two and a half, three, it's six. Um, but it's pretty lightweight. You can pick it up really easily with one hand. So carrying it down to my toy hauler is a non-issue. And I already have power down there, so I can just carry this guy down, plug it in, walk away for a minute, grab a couple things I need, and this guy's up to 175 PSI. I start filling my tires. Um, if it starts dropping down, it kicks on early enough that it's still putting air in. With over here, like with the other compressor, I'd have the chuck on it, and no air is going in because it's the PSI of the tire and the PSI of those had kind of matched. Here, you're always gonna be above the PSI, so that is great news. It's also uh, at 3.0 for the, I uh, can't remember the terminology behind it. Um, you guys will know what it is, but the being at the 3.0 for the CFM um, is good because what that does is it makes sure again that it's putting out enough airflow to be able to keep up with the job. So if you guys have a toy hauler or a trailer and you're carrying, you know, a big Can-Am and, and other stuff, I mean, you need, you're gonna probably have those E-rated tires. And this has been a great little add-on. It's pretty inexpensive. I can't remember what I paid for it, but I, I had the coupon for it. I think I got it for like just a little over hundred bucks. So I was looking at these little tiny things online that were close to that price. And I mean, this this I know does the job at 175. They do have a 200 PSI one as well. I feel like they figured that was overkill. And I'm glad I didn't get it. This one is lighter weight um, and it's something that is just, it's a little bit more user friendly as far as the size of it. But so far, I've only used it a few times, but it's worked great. Uh, I've had a lot of good luck with a lot of the Harbor Freight stuff. Like I said, the air compressor you just saw back there, um, that sucker I've had for, gosh, I mean, like I mentioned, I think I've had it for uh, like 15, 16 years. So I'm not gonna say that this guy's gonna last 15 to 16 years. If it does, that'd be great. Um, but for occasional use and filling up your tires, this is good to go. So. Yeah, I hope that helped you guys out. And uh, again, as always, please subscribe to our videos and uh, we'll have some new reviews and other tools and new toys to be able to check out here soon. Thanks, guys.